That's one thing we found, like no matter what type of restaurant you go to in Bangkok, the quality of the meal is like, one thing I haven't seen, this is the first one I've seen, is like a full on like, do your own laundry laundry mat. Here's another market here. Yeah, it totally is. These are like those little walkways you can go for miles on, but no, this one only goes here. Welcome back to another video. If you are new to our channel, welcome to our channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos. So today we're in the Prok Kanong area, which is east of Ekamai down Sukhumvit Road. And uh, yeah, it's a, another neighborhood area. And yeah, I've never been over to this part of Sukhumvit yet. Uh, we right, just came today. We just had lunch at this uh, cafe up here called M Cafe. We're gonna walk past it soon. But never explored around here. To see what it's like whether it's a place that you could live or is it more of just uh business stuff like that I, i'm pretty sure a lot of people live here i've seen a lot of foreigners around the area yeah this is the uh, m cafe here we were just ate lunch uh seems like it's foreigner owned just the way the decor is uh everything's in english and key sign was they put salt and pepper on the table <laughs> after shana ordered a cream of mushroom soup and uh yeah it was really good if you are in the area definitely recommend eating there pricing was good as well and yeah, just a nice, comfortable overall feel. All right, so we're gonna walk down the main road over here, which is Soy 71. Um, there is a few like little roads that go off of Sukhumvit as well. There's also some roads and stuff over on the south side. Not a lot, because the main, one of the main roads actually runs over there. So it's uh, just a couple little alleyways. Not really much to show. It's where Shana's uh, salon is she goes to now, is over in that area. But yeah, I was just seeing where the road is a little bit further yet. But yeah, there's all these little uh, soys this way. This is soy 69. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, you got all sorts of street vendors. They don't look very set up right now. Obviously a morning thing. But yeah, it's always interesting to uh, go to these places that I've never been to yet. Again, right on Sukhumvit Road, so it's uh, a little bit noisy, but yeah, check it out. I'll turn the camera around for you. So yeah, BTS station, I just got off right there. That's a nice thing. There's so much, so or so many easy ways to get around the city, BTS being one of them, of course. Look at this uh, G-Wagon right here. G53 in uh, baby blue. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's so easy to get around the city in so many different ways. So this place is called The Room. So yeah, there's a lot of residential here. Those are all residential towers. And we love living in Akamai, but it, I mean, we don't know how long we're gonna stay there. It'd be kind of interesting to stay in another area, kind of like this, or even further down, which we're gonna do in some of the upcoming videos. We'll go further east, down Sukhumvit. Yeah, more residential up here. Of course, the pharmacies and all that. Again, I'm still on Sukhumvit. The main road's a little ways away from the BTS station. Looks like maybe there's a lot of uh, hotels and stuff here as well. So these ramen places, there's one on Akamai. We actually went for dinner last night at it. Uh, Fujiyama, Fujiyama Gogo. They're really good. They're like proper ramen. They hand make the noodles every day. 
and the broth is so good. So if you ever see one of those, definitely stop in if you love ramen. All right, so this is the main road here. We're gonna walk down the non Sukhumvit 71. Pretty ba banom banomyong. <laughs> it's hard to say. But yeah, let's walk down here, see what there is. The main road in Prakanong. Again, more residential up there. Mexican restaurant. That's one thing we found, like no matter what type of restaurant you go to in Bangkok, the quality of the meal is like superb. <laughs> I don't think we've had a bad meal yet. We've had like a something come and grab that wasn't 100%, but that's because it's in grab and it's gotta be transported to our house. But when you go out to the restaurants, like we have not had anything that's been terrible to the point that we would not pay or anything like that. But yeah, that's one thing we've noticed is the level of, uh, quality in all the food here. I'm gonna try not to get hit by some motorbikes here. <laughs> they stop for me. Oh, look at all the power lines here. So this must be one of the next areas that they're gonna come and clean all this up. They're running them underground like you guys saw in the one video but they haven't done here yet. That looks like a little bit of a, maybe a market or just little stores over there. This is a night market here. It's called W Market. I'll just walk in quickly to show you guys. We'll probably come here and check it out one night just to see what it's like. But yeah, these are all tables and all different restaurants. So at night, this would be all lit up and a lot of people around. Sorry, cop. We got some appetizer place here. And yeah, these are all different restaurants. We got a mango sticky rice house there. But yeah, we'll come check this out sometime. Cup and cup. There's just so many, not only night markets, just markets in general that you could have like almost a whole channel just, well, you could actually just eating at markets. Because you could go to the same ones again and try completely different vendors and stuff like that but yeah these wires are insane side alley here looks like all sorts of little businesses down there restaurant here kind of like the one we went to in the our uh, street art video yeah it's, the street looks kind of cool too Just look at the wires though it's crazy that come so clean now because it got rid of those Watch out for a motorbike um, yeah, it would be, uh, would it, again, I hate to be a tech guy and be like, oh, I got an issue with my cable. And where the hell is the line? Which one is it? It'd be insane. So I'm noticing the sidewalks are nice and wide here as well. So much that a bike can go down it. One thing we've noticed, there's no bike lanes here. So everybody rides their bikes on the sidewalk, so you gotta be careful. Not that there's a lot of people that ride bikes, but you know, there is something to do. Yeah, these are a lot like, kind of how old Bangkok is with these little shops and stuff. It's not like, say Akamai and stuff, where it seems like more of the bigger stores. This just seems like they're all small shops. 
which is cool. It's like, it's like the old school way of Bangkok. It's like some sort of bar or something here. They got all the Chang stuff and all the tables out. It'd be like food and stuff it looks like. Sadika. Yeah, again, very old buildings down here. There are a lot of these cool little restaurants. There's one restaurant down here somewhere we always order like wonton soup and deep fried wontons from. I don't know where it is. Somewhere on the street though. And it's always good when we get it. There's another little spot here. So it'd be cool to try it at the shop. Look at this guy's fixing all sorts of electronics. Got all sorts of fans over there. Electronic repair guy. Here's a motorbike mechanic. Howdy cop. And then he got a little bit of a clong down here. Runs over there. So then there's waterways that run all over Bangkok. It's crazy. Some of them just stink. <laughs> this guy's out delivering water. Seems like the big jugs of water is like one company that does it. They have like the monopoly of it. And it wasn't that cheap. It's actually cheaper to buy the little bottles of water. It's just more convenient because they drop it off. But yeah, it's one thing you do have to buy water. You can't just drink out of the tap here in Thailand. I heard in Koh Lanta is like the only place that a foreigner can drink tap water. Locals will drink it because their bodies are used to it, but coming here as a foreigner, you don't want to drink the tap water. Yeah, it's a nice street, like all the trees and stuff. Again, this is a main road too. Flip the screen up. Um, yeah, this this road runs parallel with Ekamai Road. So continuing going down here, you're gonna get to the the Klong or the ta the waterway with the water taxi that we took because it runs the same way. Howdy, cop. We got, of course, a KFC over here. The Honda dealership, Honda motorcycles. Here's a uh, looks like a grocery store. Macro, macro food service. The main ones are uh, Big C and Lotuses. And then there's also like ones like this that are just kind of random. I haven't seen too many small ones like what we're used to in Costa Rica, like the little supers other than like obviously 7-Eleven. But as far as like family owned small uh, grocery stores, I haven't seen many. I'm sure it changes once you get out of the city though and you're into like the beach towns and stuff. There's a Toyota dealership here. You go try my hand at selling a Toyota. Been a while. <laughs> yeah, almost eight years, seven and a half years. More uh, herbal shops, of course. So I'm filming this video a little bit later in the day. 
What is it now? It's just after two o'clock, so a little hotter, dripping a bit more. <laughs> Usually I go out around 9, 30, 10 o'clock to film these videos, but I was tired this morning and Shayna had to come to an appointment, so I was like, well, I'll come film this, this video. Today might as well. Yeah, there's not like, there's not a lot in sections of this. Like there's little shops and stuff, but nothing like eye catching. That tree's growing up the building. It's kind of cool. Gotta watch out for motorbikes on the sidewalk too. So we got 7-Elevens here. There's one on this side, up here. And then you got one across the street. Classic. And of course you got a walkway, which is nice. They think of that. Santa Plain Frogger, you just go up over there. A little laundry mat here. One thing I haven't seen, this is the first one I've seen, is like a full on like, do your own laundry laundry mat. Anybody watching from is from Thailand or Bangkok, comment below, let us know any things we must see or do in this area. Because we're only one street over being on Ekamai Road, so it's easy to get here. There's one stop on the BTS for us. Trucks are hilarious. They always have like a whole bunch of mirrors and like they're just decked right out. You see them everywhere. I think maybe like the number of mirrors, like a static, <laughs> just chromed right out. So yeah, like little uh, mom and pop shops, like shoe place here. As you start getting away from like Central World, you uh, start getting into these little shops and stuff too. Another motor pipe, motorbike repair guy here. Those guys must stay busy here with all the motorbikes. There's a stat where uh, Thailand's the number two spot for motorbike fatalities. Obvious reasons. <laughs> There's a billion motorcycles. Um, so those numbers obviously are going to be skewed because of that. It's not like there's only like 20,000 motorcycles and 19,000 deaths. It's like millions of motorcycles and thousands of deaths. So you add more things into the equation, you're going to have a higher uh, rate for sure. There you go. You can by your lawnmower there. Funny thinking about that in, in uh, Bangkok, but you get outside of Bangkok, oh, you guys won't ram me over. You get outside of Bangkok, it's all like uh, residential and stuff like that. Sunny cop, one of the ladies that cleans the streets. But yeah, well, there's a lot of residential once you start getting out of Bangkok, so you see why they have shops like that. Oh, it's gonna be nice when they get rid of all of these power lines on all of these streets. It just looks so much better. Somebody's drawing something down here. Looks like uh, electrical schematics. Maybe the city was drawing here. Yeah, they're all over. 
for uh, cleaning up the wires, but yeah, they're everywhere. I don't know, weird. Or it's somebody's art project. <laughs> they're still going, they're still drawing on the ground here. See how many steps I get in today. It's a longer road. Look at this place. It's like a nice little spot to chill. One thing I love about the cities, especially like Bangkok and and uh, cities like Bangkok, you know, it's, it is a city, but you can find quiet little places tucked away that you can just go chill and step away from the noisy traffic. But again, Bangkok's one of the quieter cities. You don't hear a lot of honking. You don't hear a lot of sirens. Like when we were just at the BTS, uh, we would just walk down the little alleyway that Shana's salon is at that she goes to. And you just get off away from the road a little bit and it's just quiet. You hear birds. You don't have to go far. And again, that's because there's not a lot of honking and stuff. If there was like honking like in India or any of those countries, Pakistan, you'd hear that all over, even in the side streets. But here, you know, as soon as you get away, the sound of the traffic goes away and the sound of the birds kicks in. We've got a furniture store here, Saudi cop. Again, another locally owned business. Good to see. But yeah, these drawings are still all over here. So I'm starting to, yeah, I think it's, uh, well, there's spaces and stuff too. So maybe it's not electrical. I just think it's some, some art project maybe. If anybody knows, comment below. So here's the uh, Shell station. They do liters here, so it looks like uh, the cheapest one, E20, is 33, 34 baht, which is just over a buck. Oh, no, the top one's cheaper. But uh, 95 octane is uh, 49.89 baht. So you got to see what that is on the screen. I think I have that one saved as well on my maps. Let's see what the name of that one is. Pull it up here. Another motorbike shop here. Chinese restaurant here, Chinese barbecue, another 7-Eleven. That's genius though, 7-Eleven and then the market. Um, I don't have this one saved. Um, it's called, no, I don't know if that's it, Sook 71 Plaza. I don't know, there's no uh, name coming up. But there is a, a little market here, I'm gonna save that. It's always fun checking out like where the locals go, like not the Jod Fairs and Chatu Chaks and stuff where the locals actually go like every night to eat and just hang out.
trying to see if I wanted to ride a motorbike ride. I don't know what guts is. Investigation security guards. Oh, it's toasty coming in doing this later. Oh, there's like a big mosque over here. I haven't seen many like taller residential buildings down this way. More like mid-rise and like older, nothing new. down there. That's pretty much all I've seen. Not like Akamai and Thonglor. Yeah, look at, look at that mosque right there. It's crazy. Cool looking. That place smelled really good. I, I just ate and it still smells really good. It makes me hungry. It's not a gas station over here. Again, being a main road, you're gonna have things like gas stations and stuff on them. Yeah, look at this, look at this mosque. walkway over again more apartments so they're down more like the side roads I guess not on the main road it's a little garden store here I'm only like halfway down this road to the waterway. I don't think I'm gonna go all the way, unless I see something cool. But it's pretty much the same stuff over and over again, it looks like. You probably get over to Akamai down there. shop here looks like oh, uh, car stereos and stuff looks like 3m film car stereos another laundromat that's two i've seen now <laughs> like the count Seen a lot of Japanese restaurants in this area as well, so it's kind of like from here to like Tonglo into Prom Pong. Uh, it's a lot of Japanese influence, which is great. Amazing food when you want to change from the Thai food, so good. Looks like a little uh, bar here. Oh yeah, karaoke. Another uh, 
mechanic shop, they got like a homemade transformer out of parts. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a long walk. <laughs> Cars. Wait for them so they don't block traffic. There's a sushi place across the way. They don't get hit by a Bentley. <laughs> yeah, sushi here. So, duck and fried pork, two great combinations. The duck here is so good. Super tender, good flavor. It's like another like little bar thing across the way. Some old furniture sitting outside. Little spot, little local spot. Go and have some Chang's. So far, Chang's my favorite here as far as beer goes. Has really good flavor. Um, Singa, second. The Leo I didn't like much. Uh, Flavor-wise, wasn't, wasn't uh, definitely low on the list. But yeah, it goes Chang, Singha. Tiger's okay, it's from Singapore. But then you find it everywhere here. But there's a lot of, uh, a lot of craft beer here too. We're gonna be doing some videos of craft beer eventually. Whenever Scott and Kathy get here, Scott likes his craft beer as well. Naturally, he's got a beard. <laughs> Comes hand in hand. Howdy, cop. Howdy, cop. Everyone's so friendly. Yeah, it's kind of just all the same type of stuff down here. It's not really anything unique. Guess that's why you never really hear this area because of that. More, um, yeah, like I said, a lot of smaller shops down here. Just, I guess there's like a little uh, craft store or like a, yeah, I guess a craft store. They got spray paint and books, things like that. Looks like this would have been all restaurants or something over here before maybe with tables out. So yeah, again, more uh, low rise, mid rise housing up here. I'm almost to the Klong, I'll just go all the way. Anyway, you guys see everything if you've made it this far in the video. Oh, that breeze feels amazing right now. There's so many little restaurants like this. Uh, like, how do you know which ones are like above the other ones as far as flavor? Overall enjoyment. It's just so many, it's crazy. your uh, clothes fix you just go there actually uh, at the big C at the grocery store where we live there's a uh, shoe repair in there they cut keys there's like embroidery it's all in a grocery store right at the front it's pretty cool
crazy thing is I got to walk this back after filming this for you guys. Look, there's some durian. Smells good. Comment below if you guys have tried durian. And if so, do you like it? Or does it taste like feet to you? <laughs> to me, it tastes really good. Nice and creamy, sweet. The smell is like ripe fruit. It doesn't stink to me. It's just funny how there's things like that. Certain people like cilantro tastes like soap to people. That tastes like feet or onions to some people, but to people like myself and Shayna, it tastes sweet. Maybe I hear some fried chicken or something. The Thai fried chicken's amazing here. Uh, it's just got really good flavor. Whatever they put in the seasonings and stuff, it's really good. Check out this old uh, building across. It's all grown in now. Propane or not? Yeah, propane, I guess. I've seen them delivering it. It's much like Costa Rica or our propane tanks would run out and we just call the gas man and he brings it on his motorcycle. I've seen that a lot here too. Random barber shop. Another little market here. I don't know if it's open at night, it must be. Tarika? Yeah, it's all like all food vendors and stuff. People are checking out. like the third third gas station second or third there you go. yeah we're almost to the uh, Kwong now Here's the hardware store A little different than your Home Depot, that's for sure. Another one here. Oh, it actually looks like a parts store for motorcycles and stuff. Yeah, that's what it is. Another one here. This is a hardware store though. Just little shops. Study cop. Oh, they sell oil too. Didn't know which way he was going to go down the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, not a whole lot to talk about on this part of the town. Be interested to see if this changes much like Akamai or Tonglor eventually like gets built up as those other areas fill up. Oh good, there's a 7-Eleven right here. I can hit after the filming this. <laughs> Here you go down to the Kwong. Study cup. That's right. Yeah, it goes straight over there to Akamai. Study cup.
car is coming. Volvo. People just like working and hanging out under here. Park their motorbikes. I mean, you'll find a lot of little restaurants along the Plong because everybody gets off the boats and then wants to eat. So then they have all these little, little markets and uh, food spots. Got your fighting chicken, Saudi cop. You got a pool table in there too. I don't know if you can get to the Klong over here. Maybe not. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Must be on the other side. We'll go over. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can get to the Klong over here, so we'll end the video off there. Let me know what you guys think of these random raw walks. Actually, you know what? Let's go over there quickly before we end it. See if we can see the Klong from there. There's the stairs that go up. Looks like a place for hard work. Sadi Ka. Let's see. We'll do a little exploration. Looks like it's down here, yeah. I was just on the wrong side. Oh, a little pathway. Like people's houses. Yeah, it totally is. These are like those little walkways you can go for miles on, but no, this one only goes here. So yeah, there's no ferry here, here. It's on the other side, maybe. No, there isn't one here. But yeah, this is where the Klong is that you take. You can take it all the way down there, all the way up there to like Central World and then jump on another one. <clears throat> That's crazy, people like just live right on the water like this. All right, so I'll end the video off here. Let me know if you guys enjoy or are still enjoying these walking videos, just kind of raw walks down random areas of Bangkok and more known areas of Bangkok. It's, yeah. it's fun to do, gets, gets me doing some exercise. Walking is always good. Um, and it's fun to like share it with you guys. And again, see new stuff for myself as well. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave the video off there. If you guys like it, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Saudi. Check out this party, man. There's just speakers all over the outside of it. Couple of amps.